welcome back to part 21 of my Stationers playthrough. So, um, last time we went on a quest for silver and we found quite a lot. Um, so off the back of that we have been able to really kit the rover out well um, and uh, we are ready to uh, go on a bit of a longer range mission. Um, so, I'm in the hab at the moment. Um, you can see we've got uh, the uh, oven here working furiously to try to uh, cook things, but there's actually nothing in there. However, I'm going to just quickly fix that before we go out anywhere, um, because uh, we've got tons of food. Right, okay, let's, uh, we're going to put the wheat in the fridge. Uh, and shut the fridge, come on. I really need to move that chute, it's right in the middle of the interaction point. Um, and we're going to throw those in there. Okay. So, I think we're about ready to roll, but I'm going to just try and get some more oil in there because I'd quite like to cook some of those potatoes and we can make them into french fries with some soybean oil which is why I've been growing so many over here we may as well get the plants planted before we go off there we go so we'll fling them in there turn that on and grab that Oh, I only grabbed five. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it only stacks to five anyway. That can go in there. That's a start. That'll allow it to cook something. Yeah, okay. Obviously, it only cooks in batches of five. Yeah, there's no more. However, I can see some corn that's fallen down the back. So all of this can go in here. There we go. And there goes some french fries flying up through there into the machine here and we're ready to go. The only thing is we need some more cans. I'm going to make some more cans actually before we go because we've got a lot of cooked food and otherwise we're simply going to get to a situation where the canned food is actually going to rot inside the canning, uh, the um, cooked food is going to rot inside the canning machine and that would just be a massive waste. Um, so remembering to um, close my helmet before going outside, lock my helmet. Ah, getting stuck on the wall. Okay, so we've got another storm coming in. Uh, the good thing is we can actually now see how long we've got. So it's coming, the timer is, uh, is definitely coming down. Um, I might build a little uh, storm warning clock inside the, uh, the base actually. We're not going out within the rover whilst that's coming in. So um, perhaps we'll do exactly that. Oops, T-R-A, not T-R-E, for transmitter. So we're going to build another transmitter. And we're going to need a, uh, a logic I.O. chip to write that transmitter somewhere. And we're going to need an LED display. So that's the sort of minimum setup. I could also put together a flashing light. And later on, I will build a proper um, warning and alert management system and we'll feed this into it. Um, but just initially, we'll just get something basic set up um, somewhere internally just to feed this information back. Um, I'm just thinking whether or not I need anything further. Now I think that'll probably do the job as long as I've got cable. Yeah, 42, that'll probably be fine. Right. Um, right, what am I doing? Steel cans. So it's 21 there. 
I actually don't think that's enough and I'm wondering whether we've got time. Let's go and check how that's looking. Uh, I keep looking at the wrong thing. 576, okay we have got some time um, so let's go and make some more steel. But I'm going to grab all of that coal because I just want to also check that we have got Maybe I should build a... If I've got time, which I seem to have got, I'm going to try and build some wind turbines as well. Um, so we've got the Electrum to do it now. The good thing about wind turbines is they capture energy in the storm. So at the time that your solar panels are of no use to you, you're still getting some charge. Uh, I don't have any more heavy cable. I'm going to have to work out where to put these. I mean, that's a different, a different challenge. But uh, let's go make some heavy cable. I'm very conscious that I'm uh, operating on a clock now. Um, how are we doing on time? 500. Okay, so it's 200. Uh, I guess that's ticks have elapsed since I first spotted the warning. set the furnace. Ah, uh, we run out of, we probably run out of um, fuel mix. Turned the mixer off earlier on, didn't I? We've run out of gold in there as well. just that reload thing I think. How are we doing on time? 440. Okay so first things first, throw that in there. Let's go and get some, and she can probably cut through this way, go and make sure we got some fuel mixing. Okay, so where can I sensibly install a turbine? There's not a lot of spaces actually where I can hook it up to the, uh, the high power grid. Um, I'm going to need a couple of frames. Is that starting to pressurise now? Yes it is, that's good. Right, let's now run out of copper. It's got 11 in there, that might be, might be enough, probably won't be, but we'll take a chance on that for now. Time is definitely not our friend. I'm going to have to empty some of this inside. Um, whoops, not quite sure what happened there. It threw me backwards. Right, there we go. That will make some space. Okay, let's get a really quickly, um, let's just get a frame. I'll do an iron. Oh, we haven't got any iron in there anyway. I don't really want to use too much more steel for a minute whilst we haven't got any. Is it coming out? Come on, we haven't got time for this. How much time have we got? 339. Okay, we really are getting a little bit tight on time now. That missed, that was terrible. Steel, good, okay. That was a concern, right? Let me see, I'm just gonna just put, put that away. I don't want to risk losing that. Oh, I did have some heavy cable as well. I couldn't see for looking. 
Right, let's turn this off. Don't want that to just constantly be wasting fuel while we're doing this. Okay, time is very much against us. Uh, let's shut that down. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some frames in here. I just realised that this is actually on the on the lee side rather than the windward side, so I don't know how well this will work. Never mind, we'll find out. Um, where is that? That's what I want. Let's restack that there. Get that in there. Okay, and that's going to need steel sheets as well. Right, let's put it there. And. Okay, that will do. Right, we need five steel sheets. Can we do this? Whoa, and we've got 180. Okay, we can probably do this. I don't know what this needs to make a wind turbine. This is the first one I have done. Um, we've got no steel, and that's the first problem. I thought we had a little bit left in there, but clearly not. Luckily, we made some. So this may turn out to be a complete disaster because it could be just completely in the wrong place, but um, I feel like it's worth a go. And that needs cable coil and wire cutters. Whoops. Where's my, oh, where's my wire cutters gone? There they are. No, critical. construct. Right, what does it need now? I don't even know what Hydration it needs now. Uh, screwdriver. Okay, it's going. Okay, so let's uh, quickly get in here, change battery, and in we get. Look at that, the storm hasn't started yet. So I don't know whether that will do any good, but um, we'll find out because if at the end of the storm the batteries are more than 50% charged, we know it's uh, done something useful. Um, seeds off these soy. The uh, Harveys automatically harvest the seeds when they're ready but uh, for these manual ones I quite often miss them and then you're harvesting the actual beans rather than the seeds because it goes through the phase of the seeds first and then the crop. Uh, quite a lot of seeds now which is good. Um, right, now, um, let's do this. Ninety-eight tomatoes. Oh, here comes the storm.
course what that does mean is I'm not going to have time to um, or have a chance to uh, check how it works before the storm starts but um, it will do something useful for now. Um, what I don't really have up here though is a, is a good frame with some space to mount a whole load of electronics so I actually might have to mount it in the atrium um, which isn't brilliant but it's not the end of the world because longer term we are actually going to use the space down here um, yeah, I'm going to use the space down here for um, building a control room however in the uh, short term I'm going to just have to uh, probably put it on this wall here actually it's about the only sensible place um, which is kind of annoying but there we go let's, um, let's get it linked up so we're going to use the logic receiver here um, we're going to need a writer which I'll put here um, and then we'll need a display so we may as well put the display I realised that now I've just put a light I meant to get consoles mind. Okay, um, well at the very least we can have a flashing light and that can go in here. Yeah, not the best, I should have brought consoles in, that was very silly, never mind. Whoops. Uh, I actually don't think we need to connect to those, as long as we've connected the power and one of the logic, I think that's fine. Um, so I think we can just do that. Okay, so we're now going to use the screwdriver to connect this to the transmitter, which is outside. There's not a lot of choices, it's the transmitter or the rover. Let's turn it on. So that's now mirroring that, and then this will connect to the transmitter <coughs> um, and we're going to output to the flashing light it's not quite what I wanted but probably work, maybe it will work ok, that's receiving a state of zero, now I suspect that, that is because it's not even, is that the right flashing light? Oh, I didn't set the variable. Set that to on. Right, I think I need one more logic chip because I think that's just going to mirror that. So um, I'm going to rip that off there. Put a reader in here so we can actually expose the values. At least then we can see what's going on. It's quite useful. Um, logic transmitter. It's in mode one. I think. Yeah, I think mode is the only thing that we can really use, actually. Um, okay, so it was, it's a little bit tricky when you're running a reader against a transmitter that's then receiving from another device because you've got to try and work out what setting actually is going to hold what information. I suspect that the mode may be holding the mode of this actually rather than yes it is um, I wonder if we need a logic mirror in here okay this is going to need a little bit more work I think 
because I think that setting is whether this is, uh, I think if I flick that, no, maybe not. It's not picked up mode one. Okay, so, whoops. Setting is zero and the mode is one. Okay, so I think the setting is with respect to all passive. Health low. Um, but I think I might need a logic mirror to actually expose the underlying values from the other side. We'll see. Anyway, right. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. Um, what can we make here? Wow, we've nearly burnt through that stack of cans already. Look. Okay. So the wind turbine seems to have done something for the batteries. Anyway, they're looking reasonably charged. Maybe that rush was worth it. Um, I'll leave that in here. I'm sure I'll find a use for it in a bit. Consume some water. In fact, let's consume some food as well. Okay. So the sun is rising, the storm has gone. I think we will be ready shortly to set out on our next adventure. Um, but before we do, I'm just going to quickly tape the panels. Oh, no, that needs. Um, Okay, I'm just going to take the panels up um, and I'm going to do that because I want to make sure that I don't forget for the next storm which I don't even think that's going to be enough based on the amount we used last time Oops. That's only at 66%. I think that's probably just as well. It's after I've done a fix on it. I'm trying to do this reasonably quickly because I do want to get us out and about. Oh, we've run out of tape already. Out and about before too long, too much of the day passes. I think they went through two storms because there were a couple that I didn't fix the last time. Um, 1%, well, we may as well use the 1%. Okay. Yeah, that's on 26%, so that one's not going to withstand another storm. Um, and in fact, I even don't know if that's going to be enough. When they're this damaged, they're actually quite slow to uh, patch as well. Wow, that used three quarters of a roll of tape. That's used one quarter and it's still 70% damage, 70% uh, health. Right, okay. This last one, right. Okay, there we go. So I think that was uh, probably quite important, looking at the state of those. Right, let's. Um, Critical. 
Just avoid problems I don't want to have when I'm away from base. Jetpack critical. Okay, all good. Right. One more thing to do. Here we go. Turn off things we don't need. Okay. Let's go. Right, that is a zero when there's no storm due. Okay, so to the garage. Yet. Rover's fully charged and ready to go. Let's, uh, let's close these up, open the doors, get in, turn it on, reverse out. Okay, um, have I got anything I don't need in here? Actually, I have. Let's quickly dump that in here. Probably don't need the labeler, but I'm going to take it anyway just in case. That's closed. Okay, there we go. Right, all good. Oof, there's some deep holes there I probably don't want to get caught in. Okay, so I think last time we identified that actually going in this direction was quite good because once we got past some of these big canyons here, which I dug earlier in the uh, playthrough. We had a fairly flat plane, which is obviously safer for driving on. So maybe go a little bit this way because we went the other way before. Right, on the way to the hills. Maybe we'll go around the back of this range of hills. Oh, there's more silver over there some gold. Actually this just looks like a pretty good spot all round, doesn't it? Some ice as well. I think we'll start here. Seems as good a spot as any. There's the base in the distance. Right, let's get to work. more there but that's a nice flat surface there is some gold under there though um, however I'm going to get the silver we seem to have got quite a bit of it recently but we do know it is a problem if we run out of it and it's relatively rare so what I might do is open up the side of that hill a little bit and not that one um, Oops. Okay, so what can we see here? It's clearly a, a concentration in this direction, so let's go dig. there as well. So you can see now we've got the colour cartridge we can see the ice is that pale blue colour. Green is um, either, oops, either silver or gold and in this case it's going to be silver because we're on a silver deposit I think. You'll see I'm being careful not to dig too close up to the surface because I quite value the fact that we've got a nice flat surface for the rover here. So I point this 
it's actually really difficult to see. If we point this here. Okay, it's not actually picking that one up, which is interesting. I can see it, but it can see that deposit down there very clearly. Right, so we'll go this way. Okay, that belt's full. Let's switch it out. So having different colours on the belt starts to help because although there's no particular colour scheme to it, I know I've filled the orange belt now. So I'm actually filling the yellow one and I've still got the brown one to go. And I'll just grab some more off the rover. Right, we really are getting quite a lot of silver. I don't think we're going to need any more silver for a long while after this. Um, switch that. That's pretty much the end of this. Oh, there's a bit more over here. Yeah, there it is. down this deep let's just see whether we can uh, see any other deposits at this level we might actually use this and dig a horizontal tunnel oh well, there's some iron that's always useful although this belt's very close to full really the point of this uh, road trip now is just to uh, get as many resources as we can which will keep us uh, fed with materials uh, for the next little while. Okay, uh, well, surprisingly, I'm probably out of range of the ore scanner actually. I was just thinking that seems a surprise that there's literally nothing else. So let's fly back up. Where is it? There it is. Let's, um, whoops. Down here. Whoa! Clip through the terrain briefly there. That's always terrifying because uh, you don't know whether the game's going to detect you clip through and shatter your helmet. Um, right. Okay, so uh, we can see there's some stuff out this way. Yellow and some pink. So let's go and see what that looks like. iron deposit all of things. So iron is yellow. It does actually tell you in the help files what the uh, what the colours are. Um, so there we go. Um, although copper and oxide is yellow so iron and nickel is red. Um, interesting to know what nitrice is which is the newly added nitrogen ice because it's not on that list so not that I've found any yet in this playthrough so um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to whether in theory it should spawn in somewhere away from uh, where I've already explored but uh, in practical terms I'm not sure that's going to happen gone quite a long way and not found any. Right, okay, there's some more mining belts. Whoops. Should I take that ice? Might as well. While well, we're here. Going down! Poof. Sure that was a comfy ride. Okay, so theory that should be the iron that way and this should be copper down here. Well, there's the copper. There's more iron that way. Right next belt. Right and there's some silicon which is something we 
do very much need. Okay, that's the next belt full. Uh, I can't remember which one I just used. Was it the black one? Yes. Although actually it's not quite full, is it? So let's um, that on there, and that on there. Oh, I'll get there in a minute. What am I doing? Right, is that one of those? No, this pack, that's what I wanted. Put that in there. Hydration critical. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay. Now I can change belts. Let's quickly grab some water. This is quite a good seam of uh, various basic uh, materials here, actually. Iron, copper and silicon. Right, are we full again? I think we're probably not, but we've just got bits of things, yeah. It's a problem when you're mining multiple different things, is you fill up on one but you've got partial stacks which I'm obviously trying to avoid is now full. Whoops, oxide. Okay, uh, that belt's not quite full. I'm going to do that. Now that one is full. That one is full, so I think the orange and the yellow are the last two. Yep, okay, well, let's hit the yellow next. should be appearing as yellow. Okay, that was what this large yellow mass here probably is then. I thought it was... Oh, it could be copper or oxide, a mix of the two. Um, right, okay. However, more importantly, how do we get out of this hole? Where's the... Well, it came in. There it is. Right. I'll just stick that in my backpack, actually, for a minute. don't really need more oxide, we have got quite a lot of oxygen back at base, but...
do realise the same could be said for iron, but you can never have enough iron. Right, OK, we're, uh, we're full again. Right, let's get out of here. A little bit of a maze down there, but we got out. So all of these belts are now full. But the good news is, all of these are still empty. challenge to see where there might be any holes in the ground. Right, and there's some coal which we definitely are going to need. Actually let's we said we were going on a road trip, let's do it. Lovely big flat area here. There we go, and we'll stop on the foothills to here. So we're well out of uh, visible range, I say well out of visible range, I think that's the base just in the very distance there. Um, but we're certainly a long way from home. Um, that's fine. Um, part of the point of this was to get to some areas that we haven't yet explored and see whether or not we can find. Right, there's certainly a good sized deposit of uh, coal under there. Um, see if we can find um, anything exciting. In particular, I'm wondering whether if we get far enough to some uh, grids that have never been generated, whether we will find some nitrice. Although I'm not seeing any sign of any, so perhaps not. It should be green, it should look like ice except green. Yeah, that's the base right in the distance over there. We may still just not have come far enough. Um, it may be that we actually need to get fully out of visual range of the base.
suffer from lack of water now. I shall have to deal with that. Right, I've done quite a big hole here as well, haven't I? Okay, let's change belts again. This was the one thing I didn't bring enough supplies of was water. Oh, of course, that's not. <laughs> we haven't got it deployed. Right, let's just drill. We know there's loads of coal down here anyway, we checked that before we started. last partial stack in this belt but perhaps that is all of it. All the rest of it's above me now. It's probably up here. I came quite a long way down. There's some. There's some more. Oh, in fact loads more. Tons. Right, okay. Right, that will fill a few more belts. See, unlike the ores, coal is uh, something we're actually consuming to keep the lights on at the moment, so um, Power low. good to mine as much as possible. Critical. All the warnings, so many. Never mind. Right, let's uh, just go and dive in our ball pit. Right, there we go. Um, right, yellow belt. It's probably full, pretty much, except for the iron slot. Let's, uh, let's switch that for one of those. Okay, that one's now full, blue. hole here. Oh, that one's full then. Are we there? Oh, that grey one. More oxide. Really don't need it, but... going somewhere down there and there oh really is a long way down there goes my iron right okay uh, are all these belts full now I think they probably are
Yes, they are oh, right. Okay, let's. Um... Okay, we've gone quite a long way down there. Up to the surface, over to the rover. Okay, let's, um, let's unload these. And I know what you're thinking. That's it. We're full. That's all of the belts. But you're wrong because we've got more belts because we came prepared. Many more belts. Okay. Um, one thing I do just need to watch. I know. Okay, we're fine. Right. Can't see where I dug my hole now. Is it that way? Oh yeah, that's the one. Journey to the centre of Mars. Okay, and then it actually... Yeah, we had a cavern, didn't we, here, so... Even further down. Since we're already drilling very deep, let's keep going. in there, I wanted to swap it. <laughs> hmm. No more at all down here. That's uh, quite a surprise actually. We need to go deeper then. to believe there's no more down here at all. Right, there's something over that way. Let's go for it. where the uh, ground penetrating radar is really helpful for helping you to keep your bearings because it's quite easy to uh, get lost down here. That was more silver was it? Okay. It's not that exciting honestly at this point we've got so much silver that I don't imagine we're going to need any more anytime soon. Right, that's uh, a bit more water. Right, what do I just say about losing bearings? There we go. Interestingly, this has obviously recorded the information because although I've got the uh, radar picked up, it's telling me that uh, there is stuff down here. Yeah, there we go, like more silver. I really don't see that we need much more, but there we go. Right, okay, let's uh, switch that corner. Yeah, it's just a vein of silver. We actually need to get some gold, that's one thing we haven't got much of on this trip so far.
we seem to have dug even deeper chasing this vein so perhaps I'll drop the uh, radar at the bottom of this hole we'll see if it picks anything up if not I will probably just go straight up to the surface I'll be honest I'm slightly disappointed that we haven't found any nitrice anywhere I thought we might find a little bit somewhere if we went far enough away and dug deep enough it just didn't spawn into this world it would be very useful um, because we do have a nitrogen shortage as we identified some time ago so when I read the uh, dev blog about new nitrogen ice uh, being introduced I thought that solves all the problems but um, obviously only if we got any in the world right let's, uh, how's it looking? so as I understand it, it should spawn in newly generated chunks in existing worlds um, and I have done a test and found it in one, but uh, for some reason I'm not seeing any in this world at all. Um, maybe it's just bad luck. I mean, it took us ages to find any silver and now look at us. Um, oh, okay, that must be the um, bedrock layer at the bottom of the world, I think. Looking at that, with uh, probably a bit of lava or something down there. Um, Okay, let's pick that up and uh, let's go for it anyway. a layer of iron between us and it. Now there we go. Right, so you can see this is now opening into the... Uh, it doesn't actually... it's not lava so it doesn't actually hurt us, it's just the um, unbreakable bedrock layer. Although interestingly the couple of layers immediately above it are also... they are breakable and they glow the same way but there is a... you can see these open this out a bit but it won't really drill any further in fact I think this bit here is probably only drillable because it had iron actually embedded in it this is the bottom of the world So the good news is that from down here we know we don't need to go any deeper um, and in a minute we'll dig a tunnel upwards. Yeah, that's what that was. It's quite strange, it's still showing as if there's something here. I don't understand why it let me dig that channel out. it had iron embedded in it, that was what happened, I just saw that one as it disappeared. Yeah. Okay, oops. Okay, right, let's have some more water because I can't stand to hear him huffing and puffing quite so much. Um, right, so... So we've got the scan now, so it's pretty hard to do anything useful with it when it's uh, like that, isn't it? So let's just go straight up. Hope we don't come up right underneath the rover, that would be bad. Oops. Vein now. Uh, okay, 
site vein that we passed on the way down actually. Very definitely not fast about the oxide. I am fussed about any more iron that we can find. Right, okay. It's quite fun to let them fall down there and uh, eventually they'll melt down the bottom, I guess. I don't know, I don't know whether it's too cold. see them outgassing down there and uh, right um, enough messing about let's, uh, let's get a proper mining belt on and carry on our upward digging of the mine that I dug on the way down. Yep, there we go. All the way down to the bottom. surface layer. Don't fall down that hole. Hunger, caution. Okay, so as I say, we didn't actually get any gold really this trip so far, so let's just see if we can just see any from up high. There might be gold over there. I think it probably is. Whoops, got in the wrong seat. Yes, it was. Lovely. So you see again what I'm trying to do is dig the smallest possible hole on the surface and then cut sideways because it is a hazard to the rover otherwise. We will need to return to base quite soon anyway even if we've got any capacity left because um, we're going to run out of water um, because I didn't plan ahead very well. Don't go on a long road trip with no water. I should know that. Power critical. Okay, we're also running out of uh, power, but we do have a spare battery. Did plan ahead on that front.
That's more oxide. We do not need more oxide. Right, so the rest of that gold vein is just near the surface. That might even be one of it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh no, or has the battery just run out in there? I think the battery's run out in there. starting to uh, feel unwell from lack of water now. Okay, that should be enough to uh, get us back, I guess, but uh, I probably need to turn around. Although that said, I think we're nearly there with as much as we can carry don't think I had another backpack full of belts, but I might have done. Who can say? grab that last bit of gold and then we're heading for home. No nitrice on this mission but uh, just about everything else we could need. There goes the power. sure which way I need to go as well. I do want a bit of volatiles actually, we haven't grabbed any of that recently. Take that. That's all there was, that's fine. Useful to have just a little bit more. Right. Okay, so somewhere... First of all I've got a spare battery. Secondly, was it in that one? I didn't see it. And no, it is in that one. I've got the tracker cartridge. Right. Let's, uh, let's flip that over. OK, 
Okay, home is that way, I see it. Holes. No, no, I don't want to fall down either of the holes. It wasn't a choice between which hole I fall down. Oh, there's a canyon there as well. I guess we're still going in about the right direction. Yeah, there we go, I can see the lights. Okay. Felt like we'd gone further than apparently we had. I guess we did a bit of a loop around, maybe. Which might explain why we haven't found any nitrice, because it might just be that we've just gone around an area that we would already explored. Anyway, we've made it back, so that's good. So that's actually an empty mining belt, so let's swap that one. Okay, that one can go straight in there. It can do its thing. What I'm trying to do is find one with ice, because I want to just check that the ice saw to installed last time, there we go, that's fine, is working. See some of that ice is uh, is out gassing into here a little bit actually, melting before it gets anywhere. Uh, actually, it's tempting, isn't it, just to stick the jetpack in and let it unload everything. Before we do, I do want to check. I think we will do that. Um, that will be a very efficient way, but I want to check that the ice is sorting correctly first. Because if it's not, then that could be a bit of a disaster. Um, right, let's drink the last bit of water. And we'll have the last bit of food. Right, you can see this is really backed up now. Um, so the question is whether this has received anything, and currently it hasn't. Of course that's the risk, is that the ice is all jammed up, waiting to come through because the furnace is... Why are the furnaces not running? Why is the device not turned on? What has happened? We have got power. That's got power, something's burnt out is what's happened. No, it's turned off. Why is it turned off? That makes no sense. Turn on. Should have checked the power switch before I assumed it had burnt out, shouldn't I? It would have saved me ripping up the flooring. I'm a bit baffled though as to why these are turned off. Okay. 
Right, uh, the next thing we need to do is to change this one. Get that running again. Okay, right, fingers crossed that was just some weird temporary glitch. I don't know why they were turned off. It's very strange. Anyway. Oops. Let's make sure we're equipped there. Okay. So hopefully that will start to move now. Um, I need to just know that this is actually going to start to fill up with ice. some water and some food. Right, now the other thing is, whilst I remember, we changed the labeler battery. Let's just do that. Right, I guess we just need to wait for this to smelt now. It's going, but it's just a little bit slow. Right, things are moving again. Right, I saw something go zooming off. I think I saw a couple of things. Okay, good. Ice is in there. And some is in there. As you can see that we've obviously lost a bit um, whilst it was unloading. So we just need to be a bit aware of that. Probably safest to ensure that the garage doors are open whilst unloading because we don't want is to get a flammable mix in here yeah, you can see it's built up a little bit. We could end up with a flammable mix, which uh, would be very bad indeed. Right, okay, so that unloads the belts from the jetpack, but not the contents of the belts. So it's not quite as efficient as I'd hoped. Ah. Probably need a hopper for belts at this rate. Okay, that one's actually empty. Put the pickaxe in there. Chuck it in there. That one's actually empty as well. What happened to the jetpack? There it is. Okay, so that one's empty, right? So that can go. Uh, yeah, so that can just be put into there. What about that one? Yeah, that can be put into there. What about that one? Yeah, that can be put into there. And that one I know is empty because I've just emptied it.
we'll see how much atmosphere does actually build up in here. Uh, right, we'll recharge the rover battery. It seems to last a really long time actually, so that's good. I do wish it would stop dancing though, it's very disorientating. Right, so it's still below freezing in here at the moment, although it is warming up as the uh, heat of the day. Put that in there. So let's grab that from there. Actually, let's um, let's be smart. Let's do that. Let's put that in there. Get that in there. Even just the unloading operation takes a while with all of this, but uh, and in fact, you can see now this is where we do have a risk with the uh, ice, but this is now really, really full. Um, so we will waste some of the ice that's in there, unfortunately. Um, in fact, I'm going to just check if there are any of these that have got a lot of ice in. Um, right, that one can go in. Empty anyway. That one is quite a lot of ice, so I'm going to leave those two there for now. Okay, I think we'll leave that like that for now. Um, actually, hang on, wait. swap sees these we might be able to yeah we can do this couldn't we there we go right and then uh, uh, yeah that one's safe let's put that one in let that unload but yeah it's going to get above freezing in there and in fact any ice that's in there is just gonna melt we will have to think about over the longer term whether that overpressure rises so we might have to periodically just remove the window and let the pressure out but that's okay right that will do us for now uh, I'm going to recover that heavy cable put it somewhere more useful close that Okay, I think that was a fairly successful mining expedition. Should keep us in awe for a little while. Ah, terribly designed piece there. Never mind. Um, right, so then in here we've got. Okay, there's only two at the moment. When it's dark, I'll vend those and we'll uh, we'll melt them. Okay, and then you can also see while we've been gone, the uh, Harveys have been busy, um, so we'll be heading inside in a bit. But before we do that, all right, so we're okay on the storms. All right, actually, I want a console. In fact, I need two consoles because I'm going to have the same problem, I think, at the other end. Um, so I need one for on the rover, but that's a different way. Okay, we need copper. We can do that. In fact, we're going to need iron in a minute as well because it's only enough to make one. build one more 
Right, so just to get an idea of how this is looking. Loads of copper, reasonable amount of iron, quite a lot of gold now. A little bit of silicon, but we've got more coming. More than enough silver. A little bit of lead, a little bit of nickel. You can see there's a bit of coal gone through in there, but you can see these are just rammed all the way through. These are just full, all of this. And these are all 50 stacks, right? So, all mostly. So, um, that's going to keep us going a little while. This one can go into here. That battery's charged, let's plug that in while I see it. Okay, button that up. Okay, um, so we're going to need to do quite a bit of expansion. We know that. Um, I'm going to build a door for down in the uh, inner area. Um, and then we'll build a whole load more frames which I'm going to build a few doors because we will need several so we may as well just build a build a stack and, uh, and throw them in um, right we're also probably going to need more cable soon right, that's one thing I did want to do was just get these volatiles processing which we can do because they're on the belt at the moment belt can get thrown in as well. Let's start building some steel frames. Those door units are going in there. Oh, look at that, what a throw. Okay, there we go, and we are more or less ready to go back out when we want to. Um, I'm going to put the ore scanning card in there, I'm going to put that in there, I'm going to switch that for that, close that one, oh actually, stick that in there and close that one, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so as the sun starts to set, we've got. Let's just check the state of the coal. How's it looking? Okay, well, we've at least got some in there. Um, nearly ready to transfer some more ice across. Right, in the meantime, hopefully this has built me a nice stack of frames. How many have we got in here? Oh, we're only up to 12. Well, I'll take that anyway. Okay, that was a terrible throw. I'm going to cheat. Oh, I'm going to throw that water bottle in there as well, because we need to refill it. External temperature, wait till that drops below freezing. Hydration critical. 
Right. Um, advanced furnace. We can make an advanced furnace. I'm not going to do it now. Obviously, that's a whole episode on its own. Um, but it's good to know that we can make it. Um, we will quite soon, I think, reach the stage where we're going to need um, to do that. Um, right, we're going to need a load of I.O. chips as well in the control room later on, so I'm going to start printing some of those. We know we need at least one more inside. Um, and we're going to need more copper, more um, cable. so that's 17 frames so it's going to need 34 still uh, I have a feeling we had some inside but I'm not going to count on that power low so might as well just go and switch that over now So I'm actually considering making yet more steel um, because we are burning through it at quite a rate but I think we'll be okay for the moment. Um, we're going to finish this episode in a minute anyway. There's a 10 stack of logic chips, that'll probably be enough to keep us going. Um, but you can see we're now, now we know that raw materials are uh, basically under control. Um, we can be much more um, enthusiastic, shall we say, about the materials that we are producing. That's 20. We also you need yet more cans as well to feed the canning machine, so we'll do that. Nearly there. And I also needed glass because I didn't manage to finish closing in those walls because I ran out of glass. So we're actually getting a bit of a backlog of things we need to make. Four more of these. Three, two, I'm not actually sure how many glass sheets I'm going to need in there. I possibly also need some plastic in there as well. in there, there we go. Right, um, empty can. I'm gonna have to go inside in a minute and uh, sort my thirst out yet again. Um, see how we get on with this first, see if I can manage to get a few of these made. Okay, whilst that's going actually, let's move some of that ice across. I do really need to sort this out a bit, this is not very well organised. 
So that's all of the ice that was in there. Good, that should warm us up nicely, and that's a bit more hydro uh, nitrogen for us anyway. I hope it's not hydrogen, that would be bad. Um, but there's no more in there at the moment, so the rest of it must be somewhere in there. Let's hope it's not melting. Um, I guess these are just getting on with it. Okay, when we're smelting silver, that does take quite a while and quite a lot of energy. I think that's enough cans for now. Oh, did it wrong. There we go, that was right. There was a reason for doing that, which is they're at maximum stacks, so. There we go. Right. Okay, well, I think I'll just leave this to do its thing, although I'm going to stock up quickly before I go inside. I'm just going to boost up the coal level a little bit because I'm slightly concerned um, about how much is there. We've got quite a bit in here. I'll do. I thought we had more than that, but it's probably the rest of it's probably in the hopper still in the garage. That's fine. It's a bit of an untidy solution for coal, really, isn't it? But never mind. Okay, there we go. That's a reasonable amount loaded in there. Okay, right. Let's um, let's get inside. First of all, let's um, pick up all these pumpkins. Oh my god. It's like Halloween in here. Well, I can't even get in to get to the rest of them, so we'll throw them in there first of all. Um, right, let's get some of these in here. This thing. Okay, so we've now got 42 cans in there. That's a start, isn't it? Help low. that. And that. There we go. Right. Okay. Tidy up that stack. Right, okay. Pumpkin soup. Many pumpkins. Much soup. Just throw them down there, that's just a better solution. So let's at least try to um, do our temporary lash up over here with um, this. If I can figure out how it should have been connected. Um, 
So we'll put the writer. That's probably not the best place for the writer, is it? Actually, that's a really stupid thing to do. Put the LED in here. This I can. No. Okay, that will do. Okay, so Okay, I actually think that is the right setting that we need there um, I need to also write to the light because at the moment nothing's writing to it but I think that will read the um, setting on here which is set to pick up Outside the time till the next one, so we'll find out. Okay, what's left in here? Wow, I think we've actually cooked everything that's cookable in there. But don't worry. Because there's more. those seeds, I can't even work out what's what. Right, uh, shall we cook the edamame? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. A bit of variation. I'll make the next lot into oil. Away. Okay, so we're gradually cooking our way through the potatoes. Probably should have made it all into oil, to be honest. There's so many potatoes in there. Oh my god, right. Beyond even knowing how to tidy this up, other than just clicking at it madly. This is a lot of potato, uh, potato and pumpkin seeds. I mean, maybe it's a lot of potato seeds, I don't know. So potatoes is one thing we don't seem to have insane amounts of at the moment.
Oops. There was quite so much left in there. Ah, missed. there. Oh, more wheat. Tomatoes, seeds, more wheat, more tomatoes. Okay, I think that might even be... oh no, it's not. Oops. No, is that one of it? Well, that's all of it from there anyway. Throw these in the uh, in the oven. I'm sure, there's more if we look at it through this way. Yeah, it's actually it's just seeds. Maybe we did actually get it all that time. Okay. I feel I need to uh, re-engineer that whole food plant to uh, buffer more. Perhaps we need to install a hopper to hold the food because it's gone a bit crazy, I'll be honest. The amount of stuff that uh, ends up on the floor, but never mind. Right. Shall we have? Maybe we'll put some more tomatoes in next. Okay, that's full anyway. Right. I'm thinking maybe to put some floor grating down here might make it a bit easier to see what's going on. Anyway, oh, more soybean seeds. Never stops. Glad I'm not a professional space farmer. And I think I've missed these as well. Whoops. No, that said clear, that's wrong. Get the seed, get the seed. Right, there we go. Whoops. Okay, that's um, interesting. I've, I've managed to drop it between the layers of glass. Right, okay. Uh, there we go. Right. Um, let's consume some more water. Put that back in there. Okay, there we go. So I think I'm going to uh, call that a day for this episode. Um, as you can see, um, our mining trip has been quite successful in uh, terms of raw materials for ores, but actually our food production has equally been highly successful in terms of creating an absolute mountain of food. Um, so there we go, all good. Um, Okay, we'll just do that one, and I'm going to turn the machine off. Right, so that's still plenty more to cook. 
Okay, so I think that's it for this time. Um, I hope to see you on the next video.